I am home alone. <laughs> I wonder what sort of mischief I can get up to today. I've washed up and also done a load of washing. I've just had my lunch, which was leftovers, which I didn't vlog. Speaking of lunch, I'm experimenting with veganism at last. I've been gearing up to this for years and I suddenly just really wanted to do it. And I suddenly just really don't want to put anything animally in my mouth. Although that said, I haven't gone completely vegan because my mum bought me some pasta for Christmas. I like getting groceries for Christmas. Top tip for anyone who wants to buy me a present. <laughs> uh, anyway, she bought me this pasta and my mum's a vegetarian and she just didn't think to look at the ingredients of pasta, but it had cuttlefish ink in it because it was multicolored. So I have been eating cuttlefish ink, but apart from that, I've been vegan for several days now and something unexpected has happened. And I don't know why this is unexpected because all my friends that have gone vegan have reported exactly the same thing. Weight loss, straight away. I don't actually know how much I've lost because my scales, which I got back in August or whenever it was, broke. They got submerged in water. I don't know how it happened. But they haven't worked since and a new battery didn't do anything so I'm very grudgingly going to go and get myself a new set today because I can't seem to fix it. So I don't know how much I've lost but I have. I was playing in a session last night which I didn't vlog and I was feeling my trousers all baggy and bulgy all around where they used to be a bit tight and I've got bits where I can feel muscle that has been shrouded in a layer of fat for many years. Anyway, I don't know how long I'll last as a vegan, but right now it's what I want to do, so it's what I am doing, and we'll see how it goes. One thing I found in the past when I've tried it was I got very lightheaded and dizzy a lot, but I've realised I just needed to eat more. <laughs> I think that's what it was, like more often and lots of calories. I think it's very easy to eat low calorie meals when you're a vegan if you don't have cheese dumped on it that really bumps the calories up so maybe it was just that so I'm kind of eating more calories as a vegan now because normally I would keep a tally of what I'm eating throughout the day so it might look like I'm a bit of a pig you know scoffing on the pasties and Greg's but I am tallying it up and I know what my limit is for putting on weight so if I've walked for 20,000 steps I'll know I can eat a bit more cake you know for instance so I do normally tally um, but I'm able to eat more and still lose weight at the moment which is very weird maybe I'm ill oh I hope not anyway I'm going shopping it is actually not raining fancy that oh, that looks like a good deal mm, I'm tempted go on then oh I'm a reduced to clearitarian you know Mind you, this all looks like sugary rubbish. £1.50. That can go in Izzy's bauble box when she's a grown-up. £8 for scales. Okay, let's see if these last a bit longer. It's that time of year for stocking up on cheap fancy dress items for the gigs. Sprout headband. Ooh. I'm in the market. Look at the size of this garlic. I think those cloves are a bit big even for me. Let's get a smaller one. That'll do. A bit of ginger as well. Yum. This is all Izzy wants for breakfast at the moment. This and potato cakes. Trolley keeps tipping over because the weight's all uneven. I'm back. I figured if I pull the trolley with two hands it doesn't tip over. And the reason why it got so heavy, it says it's reduced to 15 pence for the soy milk, it was actually ringing up as 8 pence. So I bought all of the ones that they had left on the shelf. The date is really soon, the date is basically right now, but that doesn't worry me, this is going to be fine. It is sweetened. I don't know if it's going to curdle in coffee, but if it does, I'll have it in tea. I bought these to try to. Might be nice. Two pound they were. I also got some no bull burgers, which are quite nice. I've had them before. Problem is, I only had lunch just before I popped out to the shops, so and now I'm hungry again. But that said, I did get rather sidetracked while I was out, as you might have noticed. Oh, now that's cute. 
my little sprout headband for next Christmas's gigs. Oh. See, sometimes it gets a bit hot wearing the great big Christmas tree hat and I have to take it off. So when that happens, look, I've got a backup plan. Now I have a gig tomorrow as well, it being New Year's Eve tomorrow in my world. <laughs> and yesterday I found out there's a fancy dress code as well and it's Hawaiian. And I didn't have anything Hawaiian at all. I don't have a grass skirt or anything. But Mick is going to lend me a man's medium-sized Hawaiian shirt, so I've got that bit sorted. I suppose I need a grass skirt or something, don't I? I'm not sure how to rustle one of those up at short notice. Here's Izzy's new £1.50 ornament that I bought today. I'm going to put it on the tree, and then when she comes in I'm going to tell her I've bought her a new ornament and it's on the tree somewhere. And she has to see if she can find it. That would be a nice game. Hmm. Somewhere concealed. How about around the back there? There we are. You can go by the radiator. That'll take her ages to find. I'll be quite sorry to see these paper chains going. They've really brightened the place up, actually. I like them much better than the more normal tinselly ones. I might keep them in a bag up in the loft. I do worry a bit about it being a fire hazard, but they are nice. And they're handy then if anyone else is having a party and just wants to decorate quickly. I think I'll keep them. I'm spending my precious time home alone on the phone, on hold, to the Welsh Millennium Centre, trying to sort out a mix-up over tickets. 17 minutes and counting so far. I'm trying to use the time productively. I'm trying to unpin all the tinsel and stuff off IB's t-shirt so he can have it back. Some time later an IB's t-shirt is as good as new and turned around the right way. And my little query with the Welsh Millennium Centre is now resolved. I need to find out when my daughter's getting home I'm going to give her a ring. And then I'm going to play my flute down in Flute Cave. I'm making a hearty vegetable stew for dinner. Izzy's back, by the way. This is the most densely packed tin of red kidney beans I've ever seen in my life. Thought I'd share that with you. Izzy likes the really tiny pasta bits in stew, so I shall put some of those in. She's down, and she's hunting for the ornament. Will she find it? Probably not. <laughs> I've hidden it well. Is it in the tree? It's on one of the branches. Is it behind one of the bows? Nope. Are you sure? Yep. I've seen all of these before. <laughs> on the back. Is it in there? It's not in the skull. <laughs> you never know these days. Where could it be? Somewhere you wouldn't normally see. Could be round the back somewhere. Isabel's rubbish are looking for things. Oh, she's got it! Oh, it's so cute, it's a little... Do you like it? Yeah, it's so cute. It's a little... Funny! <laughs> the camera's already seen it. We took the camera shopping earlier. Well, it's still cute and it. they deserve to see it again. <laughs> That is the end of the video. Don't forget to like and comment down below your thoughts on this video. And subscribe to see more videos from moi and Imo. I'm the Izzy, she's the Imo, in case you didn't know. Okay, bye!